What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out when WWE fans made superstars cry. I love when the crowd gets involved and uh, you know they they're able to get the wrestler emotional, cause them to break character. We've seen some videos of where the crowd can maybe get under the wrestler's skin and, and cause them to you know respond to them in a negative way. But I also love when they're able to pull out that emotion, man. And if you're a wrestler to have 15 plus thousand people saying thank you or you deserve it you know for whatever the situation is or you know really embracing you that shows the love that shows the love and it's there's no price that you can put on that man these people they put their bodies on the line to entertain us i will always say this because we always got to be able to at least show them that type of respect that they deserve they deserve to be admired and appreciated so we're gonna check out some of these moments man uh appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel in fact uh i think that's a nice size i may make it just a little bit bigger for you guys when you just rock live uh this is by viper incarnate show a uh, link to the original video will be down below let's get right into this one man oh man just getting the Undertaker emotional is is a feat in itself. I wish that um, he could be here with us, and I miss him dearly. Damn. This is not from other wrestlers. This is from his other brother. and rented rental cars and been on airplanes throughout the world. Benoit Guerrero. You hear that great energy. Oh, man. A very, very strange oh, night. Oh, this is just... Great night. That scene there is what Eddie Guerrero... Oh, it's just all sad, bro. It's just all... This whole... Knowing what happened with Benoit, he wasn't... Obviously, he definitely wasn't the same after Eddie passed. You know, uh, he 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 was spiraling out. You know what I'm saying? Like Eddie was kind of that anchor for him, um, and it just you know once he passed, he lost that anchor, and it just it got bad. You know what I'm saying? And um, doesn't I'm not excusing what he did, but you know at the same time I also know you know what I'm saying we sometimes people they lose someone, you'd be surprised how much that person helped them. And then they go, they spiral out. And it's never good, you know what I'm saying? It's never a good thing, you know, because you end up in situations, unfortunately, like what happened with him. Um, it's just, this, all of this is just sad, bro. Carol meant to everyone his cheating and his stealing. But now I'm going to have to go find something else. Oh man. This is your house. This was a good this uh it, I just it, it it didn't pan out like we wanted it to. But when he first came back, now I ain't gonna lie to you, it was good to see that Ed. You can see the real emotion on him. That was that was a beautiful moment. <laughs> I never thought of this would happen. Being me, genuine me for the first time. <laughs> I lost my career. I love you too. <laughs> I lost two people who were very, very close to me. <laughs> Nothing I ever did has mattered to anyone. I was wrong. This was, this was really good, bro. Stuff like that. Very good. Thank you. You all saved my life. I, I just hope they're able to do something with him when he comes back. Well, I hope this was all, not all a waste. That's just my personal opinion, bro. <laughs> oh. Oh, and it's so crazy to see him back, bro. Deservedly so. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a hurt to feel. Like, I'm getting... The, the feels right now, bro. And this is just. Heart family. 
Oh, man. I know right upstairs in heaven somewhere I can feel. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is a classic one right here. The crowd just, they just, crowd, listen to that crowd, bro. Couldn't even say anything. It gets overwhelming, bro. It can get overwhelming. When a crowd don't stop, despite your, you know, your flaws, when people can <laughs> sit up there and do this for 10 plus minutes straight probably like look at that look at that for helping pay the road for me oh. in my career God damn Dominic <laughs> Eddie I love you man and I miss you every damn day and Um, I I've been hearing some stuff been going on on Twitter with Chavo basically saying he wants Ray to stop, I guess, riding the Guerrero coattail, like the Guerrero name or whatnot. He feels like he he's coming off like he's like, you know, I guess you could say like trying to capitalize off of Eddie's uh, legacy and uh, the Guerrero family name. I don't know if it's him, Chavo, trying to be on some heel type shit. I don't know. You know, you never know these days what's real, what's a work. But if it is real, I don't know about that, man. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think Ray is just trying to ride the Eddie Guerrero train, you know. So I don't, it's not like he goes out there every week talking about Eddie. He don't. You know, he showed, he gave his nod to Eddie at WrestleMania, as, and it was a cool moment. I don't, he doesn't go out there just, you know, talking about Eddie. Granted, the LWO thing, you could say that maybe. But, I don't know, I don't get that sense that he's doing it to ride the coattails. I, that's just my personal opinion on it. I know you're always watching over me. Thank you, Eddie. Ah, uh, hope Biggie can come back to wrestling, man. I'm grateful for all of you below the heavens and one incredible friend above. Rest in peace. Oh, dude, man. These are some heartfelt moments, man. ECW! 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 You know what these three letters mean to me? Heartfelt moments. Thank you for letting me play the game. Thank you, Hunter. Thank you, Hunter. I forgot exactly what, what this was. It was like kind of like a, a fake, fake out kind of retirement situation. Cause I know he really had to let it go. Like I don't wouldn't say fake out, but it was like I don't know. I think this was a part of a storyline. Or what not. I don't think it. I'm not sure. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure. I remember this. I just don't remember why he actually was saying. You know. Like. You know. He's stepping away. He does deserve it. He was my hero. He started getting choked up. Ah. I've been living with leukemia for 11 years. And I'm going to have to relinquish. This was one of the, we got the real, the, the guy behind Roman. And when people found this out, because they were booing him when he came out there. Now, there was fans booing him. When they found out, oh, this is real, everything changed. Everything completely changed. His, everybody's like, oh, shit. 
Like they're panning into the crowd. Like people are like, yo, this is not a storyline. This is real. And at that point, you couldn't boo them. I, who's going to boo someone that's dealing with something that's serious like that? Now, when he came back, they didn't really change his character up too much. So he was getting babyface reactions, but then the booze started coming in. It's like, all right, we're getting the same thing we got before. But when this moment initially happened, it wasn't about hating the Roman Reigns character. It was about caring about the man himself dealing with something that's very serious. The Universal Championship. Because after I'm done whooping leukemia's ass once again, I'm coming back home. And he had just won the championship too. Crazy. It's crazy with the John Cena stuff, how he gets, everywhere he goes, he gets a face reaction now. It took it took him not being around as much for fans to really appreciate him. That's the crazy thing how wrestling fans is. When he was on television weekly, he was getting the yays and he was getting the boos. Now he only gets cheers. Love a you deserve a chance. If you think that the millions <laughs> of people <laughs> Yep, this was another bro, this was so good. One of oh my god. In my opinion, one of the best promos from Mark Henry. I le legit thought he was retiring and it was all a swerve. It was so good, bro. Going back. Listen to that. Oh my God! Listen to that, man. <laughs> Ronda was emotional. I like, how could you boo me? I just got beat up. <laughs> Let him run it. I wanted to thank all of you. What you gave me, I will never ever forget. Thank you so very much. It's the daddy. <laughs> oh, man. Always and forever. Thank you from my heart. And always a sad moment, man. And we came back. Listen to that reaction. Listen to that. The crowd saying, this is your yard. Uh, I have to thank you because Bob RT, wait a minute. It's the boss. It's because of the ECW fans that Paul Heyman. Thank you. The eyes are right because I was in the back smoking a joint with Van Dam. <laughs> Uh, this, this is, I ain't gonna hold you. When I watched this live, I think I did end up sharing a tear, shedding a tear, bro. Oh my God, bro. Knowing he had to step away from the ring. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's probably one of the most emotional moments in Monday Night Raw history. Him 
saying he has to let it go. He can't do this anymore. The doctor said he can't do this anymore at the time. It just, oh, that was so emotional, bro. Listen to that, man. Getting that kind of reaction from all of you people. Oh, this is getting me. This is getting me. I am grateful. Grateful. The GOAT. The GOAT. The GOAT. That's all I got to say. The Undertaker, man. What are we talking about? Listen to that, man. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful moment, man. I, I, if you didn't get goosebumps in this entire video, you can't have a soul. I, that's all I'm saying. I've had nothing but goosebumps this entire video because it was just that impactful. And that powerful man comment down below let me know what are some of the moments that made you tear up from like the crowd showing love to a particular wrestler if they weren't in this video let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel road to 150k and i'm still here in the speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace